hello and welcome in this video uh, we will be showing you uh, how we can fix the error connection refused on google chrome error internet errors are pretty common while surfing the websites these errors arise due to different reasons these reasons can be related to client side or it can also be on the server side so while trying to fix these error it is important to have a proper understanding of their origin one of these errors is error connection refuse and it states that this web page is not available this is frustrating as it happens to a few websites only although there is no proper reason behind this error to occur but you can try some methods in order to fix it here is the error on how it looks like so you'll be probably seeing the same error message uh, with the same window which says error connection refused uh, the main culprit of this error might be a change in the LAN settings. If you are using a proxy software, it may change your LAN settings causing this error to occur. Once a website is visited on a particular computer, it is cached inside the memory for a specific period of time. When you visit it second time, it loads pretty fast due to its cached files inside memory. So caches and cookies can be the culprit behind its occurrence. Our first method is to check for LAN settings. In a majority of cases, the reason behind this error can be due to a modification in the LAN settings, restricting the websites to connect to their server for fetching the data. So rectifying these settings can fix this error. To check your LAN settings, you need to open Internet Options from Control Panel. So let me bring up Control Panel first. You can press Windows and R key, type Control Panel and hit Enter and that should bring you this window. Let me adjust the view for you. Okay, so here you need to go to Internet Options. So let's go to Internet Options. Let me bring up the window so in the internet options click on the connections tab located at the top so when you are inside the connections tab click on LAN settings button at the bottom on this pop-up uncheck the use a proxy server for your LAN options if it is already checked then uncheck everything on the top also and then click on OK button and then reboot your PC. So in this example, there is nothing checked. If you have anything checked, you just need to uncheck it and then just restart your computer. So after rebooting, check for the website you were facing the error. The next method that we have is to clear the browser cache and cookies. Clearing the browsers caches and cookies might do the tricks in some cases every browser has different options to clear the cache and cookies to clear the cache and cookies on internet explorer open internet explorer and then press shift control and delete this will bring up this window make sure that cookies and website data is selected And then click on delete button to clear the cache and cookies to clear the cache and cookies in Firefox bring up Firefox to so launch Firefox and once you are in Firefox press Control shift and delete from here select time range to everything check all options And then you can click on clear now in order to do the same with chrome so launch chrome and then press ctrl shift and delete select time range to all time and don't forget to put a check on cookies and cache after that just click on clear data once you're done with that uh, just launch the browsers of your choice and see if the websites are now working fine I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.